Hey guys, back with another video, another introduction video because we've come across another really awesome watch that we wanted to share with you, an awesome watch company that we want to share with you. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, the packaging is really cool. The watch is really cool. I'm positive that you guys are going to love this watch. So let me start with the packaging because I think it's really cool. It's interesting, kind of provocative, and based on interpretation. So when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you open up your box, this is what you get. Every dog will have his day. Hmm, what could that mean? <laughs> open it up, and this is got something on here this packaging. You can see here Lou and Huey. Now this is the logo I'm talking about. A lot of people are kind of going, what is it? Does the dog get Wi-Fi? What's the deal? <laughs> I happen to really like it. I think it's really, really cool. But I also love the packaging. So it's this leather bound package, but then you kind of slide it out like a drawer pull. So pull this out and I'll show you how it comes. So this is the watch right here. I don't want it to fall out. It is Lou and Huey. And this is the Ricardo Rally Inspired Chronograph. It's a limited edition, so there's numbers 1 through 150. <clears throat> Put this off to the side. Wipe off my fingerprints. And show you this beauty. So there it is. Again, the Ricardo Rally Inspired Chronograph. I love that blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, limited edition, 42 millimeter case diameter, really nice size, kind of good for everyone, I think. For some, it might be small, but I really like it. Let me show you that on there. Beautiful. Just a nice size. I think it fits really well. I think women can definitely pull this off if you're a woman interested in watches. Okay, so 42, love that size. You're getting a 48 and a half millimeter in length. So that's going to be from lug to lug. You're getting a 14 and a half millimeter case thickness. So again, let me kind of plop this back on my wrist to show you. So you can see it doesn't sit too high. It's kind of nice. It is a leather strap, so it's it'll kind of mold to your wrist. 20 millimeter lug width, so kind of a nice, good average size if for some reason you did want to change out the strap. You're getting water resistance to 330 feet. Just so pretty. That blue is just so mesmerizing with the hints of red in there and the white. That's domed sapphire glass, really scratch resistant too, which is nice, especially if this is going to be kind of a daily wear for you and you want it to sort of withstand some of the daily things that you go through. Having that sapphire crystal is a really nice feature. This is an automatic, it's an ST1940 caliber, automatic movement. It's got a 48 hour power reserve. That's excellent. I think that's really good. 316L stainless steel case. And as you can see there, that sunburst dial. Can you see kind of the, that texture in there? I love that. I don't know if texture is the right word, but you see, you can see it moving in there. You're also getting textured sub dials. So you can see the chronograph function in there. I love that. Now let me show you the case back because this is one of my favorite parts. There's something to me about an open case back that is really sexy and this has got one of those and I love it. <clears throat> you can see, I mean you can see all the moving parts. I mean it's just gorgeous. So you can see it move. I love that. Ah, isn't that sexy? Good gravy. Now it does come on a leather strap. You can see right here it's brown leather and you've also got that white stitching on it. And then the clasp is really cool. It's a deployment clasp. 
I've left kind of the wrapping on it because we're returning the watch, so <laughs> back to its rightful owner, so I didn't want to take it all off. But you can see here, you've got the deployment buttons, and it all comes out like this, okay? So that's really nice, and I think it offers a level of security so that your watch doesn't fall off if that happens to you. And then what you do is this little piece right here pops open, if I can get my big hands, to reveal kind of a little pin. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. Kind of tricky. But there's a little pin right here. So what you do is you pop your strap in that and get it where you want it. It'll obviously fall within one of these holes. And then you just pop the deployment back, like so, maybe. And then you're nice and secure. So I like that. I mean, at first I thought and went, whoa, <laughs> how do I work that? But it's actually really easy to operate once you figure it out. So uh, it also comes with a one year warranty. That's always a nice handy thing to have. This retails for $550 on the Lou and Huey website, which I will link below in the description box. Um, it's kind of reminiscent, if you'll see, I'll kind of come a little closer here, kind of of like the Rolex Daytona with the chronograph. It kind of reminds me too of the Tag Heuer Carrera or the Monaco, that kind of just auto racing F1 kind of feeling to it. You know, it's a very much like a car. I, mean, I could totally see someone like Paul Newman rocking this, you know. Now you can see too, I'm gonna get in really close. Do you see the, the little logo up there at the 12? I love it. I think it's really cool. It's really subtle. I don't find it odd at all. I know I read through some forums and some people didn't like it. Some people were kind of on the fence about it. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> and if you have had any kind of conversation with Chris Vale, the owner and designer of Lou and Huey, I think you'll kind of understand where his head is in terms of the design process. And I think you'll kind of understand the design of the watch a little bit more. Chris is just a really cool dude. He's really, really smart. He's got a really keen design sense. I think that this watch is really elegant. It's very subtle. It doesn't scream at you. Um, I just, I like it. I find it very classy. And, you know, I would totally rock this. I love the blue with the brown. There's just something about that that is like uber elegant looking to me. Plus then that, that case back. Oh man, what a gem. So again, 44, or excuse me, wow, 42, <laughs> 42 millimeters in case diameter. You're getting 14 and a half millimeters in case thickness, so it's gonna sit really nice against your wrist. 20 millimeter lug width, water resistance. You've got the sapphire crystal, the stainless steel case, that beautiful sunburst dial with the textured sub dials. Just, it's just very pretty. I love that. It's almost kind of got a brushed look here as well, which I really like, and then kind of more of a polished up here. So I like that kind of contrast. And then this leather is really, really soft as well. Uh, automatic movement with that 48 hour power reserve. I think that is just an amazing addition to have that power reserve. Again, it's $550. I will link all of Lou and Huey's information down below if you're interested. We've really grown fond of this and we're gonna have a really hard time sending it back because it's just so beautiful. I mean, it really is just, it's, it's just a classic watch design that I think anyone can pull off. You know, this is kind of one of those, those pieces I think anyone can wear and wear very, very well. I think this can go from day to night in terms of wardrobe. I think women can totally rock this and rock it really well. I think the price is right. It's a very sturdy piece. 
Um, I think that it's going to be very durable. I think it's going to hold up to daily life. Those things that you do every day. Um, I think it's going to do great for you. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I think it is a nice practical price range. And I think that anyone could totally pull this baby off. Now, before I let you go, I do want to just tell you, we had the opportunity to interview Chris Vale, the designer and owner of Lou and Huey. And uh, we got the interview questions all put together last night. It's a very intriguing read. I think that you're gonna find Chris very interesting. Um, he's very provocative. Um, he's a shoot from the hip kind of guy. He really doesn't have a filter. He kind of just tells you straight up how he feels. And I think that you're really gonna enjoy that interview. So um, we will get that up in conjunction with this video so you can watch the video and then you can go and read the interview in the CWW Spotlight up on the website. So I'll link that below here as well. One more look just because it is gorgeous. I love it. And we've got like the origins of Lou and Huey, what that means. That's all going to be in the interview so that you can read that at your leisure. So there you go, guys. Check out Lou and Huey. We're huge fans. Again, it's going to be really hard to give this up, but we're going to. So until next time, you guys. Bye.